In this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 shaving soap artisans of 2021. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, before we get into the list, I want to make a few caveats. This is my list. It's really a subjective thing. These are just artisans that really struck my fancy this year that I was just really attracted to. Some of it was on the basis of budget, some of it on the basis of the formulas, some of it on the basis of the scents, some of it based on all those things. So keep in mind, these lists are always subjective and yours most certainly will be different, but these are some great ones that I really love. And all right, we will start the list today with Ariana and Evans. This is an amazing company and you know, this one is the club branded, but Ariana and Evans has the club. They just make exceptional soaps, top rate quality, outstanding scents, beautiful artwork like this one from Raza with Shaving with Raza. Ariane and Evans is definitely one of the top artisans out there making just one quality soap after another and I think they're certainly worth trying. And up next we have Sterling Soap Company and what can be said that hasn't already said about Sterling? Excellent value, excellent quality, great people. They have a vast array of products. They have samples, they have splashes, they have EDPs, they have pre-shaved soaps, they have bar soaps. Sterling is truly, truly excellent. And again, in 2021, I found myself using them a lot. They just cannot be avoided because they are truly one of the best artisans in the business. And up next, we have a relatively new soap maker, and that is Lothar Grooming out of the UK. I was very impressed with Lothar Grooming this year. They have sort of a no-nonsense approach, and you can see that, excuse me, in their packaging. Just sort of matte, stealthy black. I think Lothar lets the soap do the talking. Great sense, great performance. I really enjoyed Lothar in 2021. And up next, we have a soap maker that's been around for a long time. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, PAA. And one thing about Phoenix, they love to have fun. Everything they do is fun. They have so many different products, t-shirts, they got pictures, they got keychains, everything you can imagine PAA has in their line. And last year they, they brought back Bailey's Irish Cream with yours truly right there. And they're just a fun brand and they make a really good quality soap and they have a ton of selection. So if you haven't tried PAA, I suggest you do. It's definitely one of my favorite artisans of 2021. Up next is a brand that I have talked about for years. And in 2021, with the help of the razor company, they finally caught on and that is Shannon's soaps. They have amazing soap quality. It comes at a very good price and people are finally catching on. This stuff has always been underrated, but finally this year people started to use it and they're like, hey, that Shannon's is good. And I'm like, yeah, I've been telling you this for a while. So I am so grateful for the Razor Company teaming with Shannon's this year and really getting the more exposure. And if you haven't tried Shannon's, I recommend it because it is very good stuff. And up next, we have an artisan that I think is really underrated, and that is Murphy and McNeil. They have amazing soap quality. They have amazing selection. They have amazing scents. You don't see them getting the exposure that they deserve apart from these special releases like BDLM. They're an amazing company. They have great customer service. They have great soaps. And whether you're using the Aeon base or the Kodiak base, it is excellent stuff. Don't sleep on Murphy and McNeil because it is great stuff. And up next, we have First Line Shave. And to me, First Line Shave has lots of big, bold scents. They're very well done. The soap quality is very good. And I seem to like most of the things that they release. It's just a wonderful brand and they're definitely worth checking out. And next we have an old school favorite and that is Barrister and Man. And when I think of Barrister and Man, I think of consistency. They have had consistently great soap for years and years and years, and they still do it at a high level today. Definitely don't sleep on Barrister Man because it is an excellent soap. And up next, we have my sweetheart choice of 2021, and that is Crown and Crane. I went 12 
for 12 on cents this year with Crown and Crane, and that has never happened. All the cents I've tried from Crown and Crane have been crowd pleasing, easy going, and they have a really good formula and it is very well priced. So don't sleep on Crown and Crane because the price is right and the cents are amazing. And finally, our last selection is a tie. And I hate to do that, but there was no way that I could exclude either of these brands. <laughs> and it is House of Mammoth and Southern Witchcrafts. House of Mammoth came on strong for me at the end of 2021. I tried four or five of their soaps and the scents are just amazing. It's pricey, but it's very good stuff. And now it's more available than it was previously. So, you know, I really like that. House of Mammoth, if you haven't tried them, they are a brand well worth trying. Very good quality, very good scents. Southern Witchcrafts, they specialize in dark scents, but they also have some other great scents. I found out when I bought the sampler that they had some amazing scents that I really like, and the quality of this soap is just excellent. I got to tell you, it's just a brand you should try. I love grapefruit. I love grapefruit too. I love Pomona. I could not leave Southern Witchcrafts out just because I really, really began to enjoy it late in 2021. And there you have it, folks, my top 10-ish artisans of 2021. Let me ask you, who are your top 10 artisans of 2021? Please comment below. I'd love to see who you enjoyed this year. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do your way, and as always, God bless.